Hi, this is Dr. Robin Wilcoit, and this is another in our video blog session. Today we're going to talk about testosterone, but I'm going to move off from that to explain about what normal means in terms of blood tests, but we'll use testosterone for a background. If you're a male in Australia, too bad if you have low testosterone. It doesn't matter what your age is, you're going to be basically told that your testosterone levels don't matter. This is extraordinary because there are heaps of data collected around the world over the last few years showing just how important testosterone is for the human male. When our testosterone levels are in the optimal range, we function better mentally and physically. We probably age a little less slowly, but we can repair ourselves better, and we just function as happier, healthier human beings. Now, Professor David Handelsman has done a lot of research in looking at testosterone levels in males in Australia, and recently he published a paper which showed that as long as you were over six, we'll just use the number six, I'm not going to go into what the units are, we'll just use the number six, as long as you were over six, you were perfectly fine. And he came to that conclusion with his fellow researchers by looking at blood samples in a number of males around the country. Now, what doesn't turn up in all of these sort of studies is, were they really healthy males? Were, did they have lean body mass? Were they athletic? Were they at the peak of their performance? Or was it just a whole lot of blood samples from people who otherwise said they were healthy, and then they used those blood samples as a means of generating a range of values that were called normal? This is really important because the word normal has been distorted dramatically in medicine. We have lost its meaning. What does normal mean? Well, if you ask your average doctor, they'll look at your blood tests and they'll see a range of values. And as long as you're somewhere in that range, they'll tell you there's no problem with you. Professor Handelsman has said that for a male, as long as he's above six, he's perfectly fine. Well, six happens to be about two and a half times the amount of a female's testosterone level. Males typically at their prime are somewhere like 20 times the amount of a female. So how could, be, how could two and a half times be normal? Just because you find that in a population of males doesn't mean they're normal. What happens is that there is an optimal level of everything for each individual human being. The fact that there's a normal range that varies from, say, 6 to 40, which is in the case of testosterone for males, tells you that there's a vast variation in that level. But what is optimal? What is optimal for you? And it applies to every other blood test. If, for example, your normal testosterone has been running at 35 and it suddenly drops to 20, you are not going to feel normal. You're going to feel deprived of testosterone. You're going to have brain fog, lethargy, just general blahs. Sex drive may go down. You just aren't going to feel optimal. And the reason is your testosterone is not optimal. But supposing you've been a male who throughout your whole life, your testosterone has been 20 anyway. And you were 20 when you were 25 years of age and your number is 20 now. At 45 years of age, you probably feel perfectly fine. You've got good brain function, you heal well, and your libido is good. You would consider yourself in fine fettle. But therein lies the problem with the word normal as it applies to testosterone. An Australian male today is not able to get testosterone replacement on the PBS system unless his testosterone is five or less. This is absolutely absurd. It's not taking into account what is optimal for that male. And that's where the abuse of the word normal in normal ranges has come. Really, what the whole idea with the normal range was, if you're below the range or well above the range, you really need investigating and being looked at carefully. But within the normal range, you can say nothing about what's optimal for that particular person. We need to address this. This is a serious issue right throughout the world at the moment. In the modern world, we're seeing testosterone levels falling 
in younger and younger males and they're not performing well. And the reason for that is probably stress, it's probably diet, and it's probably contaminants and toxins in our food supply as well. But the point is, when a young male, say 35, comes in and says, my sex drive is low, um, I, I'm not healing up as well when I work out, when I try to exercise and remain healthy, um, I've got brain fog, I keep forgetting things, he doesn't need an antidepressant, he needs testosterone. But the first reaction in Australia at the moment is to tell the guy he's depressed and to put him on an antidepressant. This is abusive medicine and it is not looking at the real issues that are confronting that male. So in the context of normal, if you're in Australia at the moment as a male, whatever your testosterone levels are, you will be considered normal even though you may not be normal. And therein lies an interesting story. I want you to have this discussion, all of you who, can, who may have issues that sound like you've got low testosterone, talk to your GP and as you do say, dude or ma'am, the last thing I want is an antidepressant. I want to be treated optimally. That's the end of this blog for today. I look forward to talking to you all again. Please make sure that you keep your emails current with us so we can be in contact with you uh, in a very efficient way. I look forward to talking to you again in the near future.